Hi. Um, as you can see, I am not in the natural wilderness where I usually am. I'm actually still in Edinburgh, but I'm heading there and there is so much to cover in this video. One, has this been turned into a camper build just yet? You will see. And two, am I going camping today? Well, I can answer that. The answer is yes, we are. So. Of course, we have our number one adventure buddy with us, my baby, Mila. He's my, my big girl. Okay, so I don't really want to show you the back. I mean, it's obviously not much of a surprise. I wouldn't go camping if it wasn't done. But last week, there was supposed to be a video already, and last week doing this build was just an absolute madness. It was a pain in the ass. I was stressed as hell. But we're uh, we're there now. We're there now. Oh, nearly a little peak. Um, but yeah, we're going on a, an adventure right now. A little camping spot that I've never been to before, and it's like a fifty-fifty. It could go either way, as usual with these places. Um, but yeah, we're going to head there now. Me and my little best friend. So join us on this journey. Um, yeah. It's been a minute, and I'm glad to be going finally on a camp again. Where do I begin? So obviously in my last video I was presenting you with uh, this new car that I built. I built? This new car that I bought. I didn't, definitely didn't build this car. Um, so I got this new car, my Freelander 2. Um, I've never been camping in it before if this is your first time watching me. And I obviously had to get it changed into a camper, like some sort of camper setup. I went over to my parents last week um, to get the assistance of my dad to help build my new camper. And to be truthfully honest with you, because my previous build and my Honda was quite new still, um, I wanted to keep pretty much the same setup. So I tried to just remove it from the old Honda build and literally maybe trim it a little bit and put it into the, the Freelander pretty much. And we did do that, but it was just a disaster. The legs were too tall on it because from the footwell to the bed height is much higher in the Freelander because it's like a bigger car. And the thing was wobbling all over the place. The bed platform, I can show you now actually, the bed platform was just like in a state. It had nails all through it. It was wobbly, it had too many joints on it. It was just, it was not good. So I was a little bit stressed with that because it was supposed to be a lot quicker than it actually was. However, as usual, um, I was gonna say, I never panicked, I did. I was stressed and um, I got, literally started from scratch again. Um, my dad was amazing help, helped me cut the wood into the, the shape of the bed frame. We've literally pretty much done the same as the last build, but changed it a little bit. And I'm gonna show you that as soon as we get to our camping location. So sit back, relax, that was a lot of talking. Let's get to our location. Hopefully it's fine and we can chill there tonight and then jobs are good in. So, um, and then I'll kind of show you what my build looks like. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so we are five minutes away from our location and I've just started to see signs for like <coughs> camping permits and all that kind of stuff now. I was looking online, so this part of where I am in Scotland, like the Loch Lomond area, you can pay like for a permit, permit from March to September because that's when people start camping. However, apparently if you're car camping, you don't need to. Um, I think it's just if you're in a camper home or if you're actually tent camping. I don't know. Okay, we are one minute away and it's like a lay-by and it's the rain has just started really coming down heavy. Okay, this is a lay-by here. Let's see what the vibe is. Okay, I can see a tent there already and I can see a car. So that's one thing. Ah, oh, this is this is what I'm dealing with, but this is why I have a 4x4 now, which is great. But it's still not nice to drive in. Uh, 
Okay, let's see if I can pull up a clong here. I'm in the area where I may be parking tonight, but what I'm going to do is get out of the car, I'm going to have a walk along, and I am going to see if there's a better spot along there. So, you ready for a little walk, darling? Let's do it. This is the vibe. It's not the worst, actually. Definitely not the worst. This is what I'm. This is this is what I'm seeing. <laughs> so cute. Hello, hello. You ready for a little walk? So this is the area right here. It's actually quite nice. I was thinking about pulling up into this spot here, but nah. So that's where I am currently parked. I'm trying to just suss out if there's a better way to position the car, but I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. Right by the lake, which can't really get onto, which is annoying unless I go down there. But we're going to walk along, like I said, and see if um, if there's a better spot that might be possible. But we're going to walk past some people, and you know, I don't want to just park right up behind them. So we'll see. Let's let's go, baby. This way. Let's uh, let's see what's happening along here. so slavering all over myself they definitely have a better area because they're literally right on the lake but I think I would rather have just like a little bit more privacy okay there is further areas along here actually I just don't know how far it goes until you reconnect back onto the um, back onto like the motorway okay I definitely will not be camping here for very obvious reasons, which I'm about to show you. Dam. I mean, it looks like a dam. There's that much holes and water. It's a shame because it could have been a better area for me, but it is just so muddy and holy and not the vibe. Nah, it's definitely not do doable. I mean, it's doable if I want to stand in water constantly, which I don't, obviously. <coughs> nice area though. This is um, this is Loch Erne, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, it's Loch Erne, definitely Loch Erne. If it's in this video, if you're hearing me say this, that's Loch Erne because I'm going to check after because I'm doubting myself now. I think it's Loch Erne. Could be wrong. I think round this corner is going to like take us back out unless there's some magic land along here uh, nah this is the end and it's still not that great yeah this is the end so I think where I am is probably going to be where I'm going to like stick out for the night because that right there just takes us back onto the the motorway or the country roads. See this? Is there a bin here? Why would you leave that? Honestly, there's literally bins. Put shit in the bin, the man. One thing that irks me, and I don't think I get irked that easily, but it's just people who don't pick up their litter. Bad karma. You know, look after these places and they'll look after you. So, do my good deed and put it in the bin. Ugh. Oh, it's so muddy and boggy. Okay, you wanna go down to the water? Do you want me to carry you? Cause you've only got small legs. I know that you're big and you're tough, but you've only got small leggies. It's very slippy. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I 
definitely if you're like tent camping, this is an amazing location. If you can have something to like lay down so you're not sitting on pebbles. This is a great location. I mean, you're literally on Loch Ern. <laughs> I really hope it's Loch Ern now because I have so much clips of me saying Loch Ern. I wanted to come on a short trip today to just test out the camping situation um, in my car. Um, it should be fine. I mean, it's pretty much the same as the Honda um, in terms of the setup. I've not showed you the setup yet. What am I talking about? I'm going to go and show you the setup now and then I'll get to what I was about to say. Damn, and jumping too far ahead here. It's a bit boggy. It's a little bit boggy, boggy. Biggie boggy. In these kind of like locations, you've kind of just got to find the right spot and stick with it, I guess. I mean, my car's a little uneven, but it'll do the night. Oh my God, that's a beautiful car. Sorry, but it is. I'm biased, but it is. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly move my stuff and then I'm gonna show you the current setup. Are you ready? I'm about to unveil it to you. Three, two, one. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> oh. It looks the same, you see? Well, actually, no. This has switched sides. It was currently there, or previously there, sorry. Now it's currently here. However, thankfully, okay, somebody's impatient. The build itself is pretty much the same as previous um, on the outside. However, so the table that I've got here is, is pretty much the same. We've just switched sides. No reason particularly why, I just want it on this side. I have lost a little bit of room. Excuse me, who are you barking at? There's literally nobody there. And if you're going to be in the front, no barking, madam. No barking, please. Um, oh, the bags are there. That's perfect. So, here, I don't have actual, like, legs anymore. We've used sort of, like, these wooden pallets, almost. Or we've made, like, pallets or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, that's boring, but it's a lot, a lot more sturdier now, the bed. Oh, that's what I was looking for as well, Mila. Anyway, so the build looks pretty much the same. It is a lot more sturdier, but I'm very happy because I wanted to keep this build because it's new, like I said. I've only had it in the old build for like four or five months, and I really liked it. So we've managed to sort of redesign it um, for, the, for the Freelander. Now, this isn't the finished article still, so as you can see, I've got these ghetto-ass bits of cardboard up there just to block it out. I'm actually getting the back windows tinted um, very soon, so that will help with privacy. Excuse me. No barking. And this right this here... Information. This right here as well, this shelving, is going to be getting, well, either removed or redone. Probably redone so i want to find like a permanent sort of solution for my cooking equipment um right now they're just kind of like lying about there which is just not ideal so i will be sort of building a sort of like raising this a little bit anyway you're going to see it i'm, I'm going to show you it in next week's video when i start and finish it it shouldn't be a big job but i'm going to be redesigning that to have some permanent storage in the car rather than just taking things out with totes and stuff all the time So the honey, the honey has leaked all over my Tupperware. So I'm currently cleaning all of the stuff up in my house. In my, I'm currently cleaning everything because it's got honey all over it. Can I ask you guys something? I'm trying to maybe do less editing on these videos, like less jump shots and less like, are you really going to keep doing that? I'm trying to do like less. Oh, this dog is absolutely determined to tangle this all up. I'm trying to do like less editing on these videos and trying to just let the camera roll so it's a little bit more real. 
to like a longer scenes maybe a, probably a longer video as well but i don't know i'm just curious if you prefer that kind of style of video where it's a bit more authentic um and that i just sort of have more of the scene in shot if that makes sense rather than sort of just only containing the interest and bits just kind of letting it roll so i don't know basically a lot less editing and jump shots and just letting the camera roll um i'm still editing these obviously but um you know what i mean just more natural stuff i think i'm gonna have a night off the acorns hitting my roof which is fine i'll deal with it this is the culprit right here I've also forgot my camping chair. Bloody disaster, I tell you. But I don't care because I'm so hungry and I've got a bagel on my favourite avocado and bacon. Mmm. Oh. Sorry, Mila. So I have had my bagel. Got my cup of tea. Ow, oh, that is so hot. And I may have a couple of cheeky cookies. As... <laughs> I may have a couple of cheeky cookies as well because I deserve it, right? Okay, so I see people with high vises on. And I think they're speaking to people. I've got a feeling they're going to ask if I have a permit. And I'm going to just be honest and be like, no, I don't. Can I buy one? Can I get one? I don't know. So interestingly, that was the Rangers. And they didn't actually stop at the people with the motorhomes. It was just there's two people camping on the like beaches or the the beach. The beach. But um Yeah, I heard them saying do you have your permit? So I don't know if you just need a permit to actually camp on the beach. Don't know if that's a thing or not, but they never asked anybody with a motorhome. Beautiful. And the rain has stopped for now. And the sun is trying to come out, but the temperature has dropped and it's freezing. Oof. I don't really have much else to do right now, to be honest with you. I think I'm just going to head back to the car, get some heat in me, and just, yeah, take it as it comes. Yeah. Rip. I'm not even lying, I've just been speaking for about the last 10 minutes and my camera wasn't even recording. Love when that happens. I can't remember if I told you, but we're making um making tacos or quesadillas, probably tacos. Um I have some ingredients like black beans, peppers, onions, avocados, and I'm just going to kind of roll with it and take it. So, starting off, a couple of peppers. Okay, so let's cut the capsicum. Let's prep this. Oh, this knife is so clean. I love a good knife for cooking. So very straightforward, I'm going to fry the onions, saute the onions a little bit, throw in the peppers, throw in some taco seasoning and then 
you are supposed to boil these black beans a little bit <laughs> and have them separate but I think I'm just actually going to throw them in with the peppers and just see what happens because I really can't be bothered boiling them separately. Okay, so let's get these black beans in here. Oh shit! Oh god, that was not expected. Oh my god, no! I don't want all the liquid to just come through it. Oh no! Shit! Classic! Classic me! I think we have another car camper. We do, we have more car campers just to the left of me. Which I'm fine with. Okay, so I'm going to try something a little bit different here and I'm going to throw, rather than sort of like just put bits of cheese, I'm going to try and melt the cheese over it. So let's see how this turns out. Probably really bad. Let's see. A little bit of, oh, I've not even got the avocados. Kind of forget the avocados. Look at that. Wow. That is incredible. Boom shakalaka. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Stop whiffing, no one cares. You're just being silly at this point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm going to do a little happy dance. One thing, again, another thing I love about this Freelander is the roof actually comes up versus my old one, which was to the side. So I am naturally protected from the rain. Can you please stop ruining the ambiance? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... We're a little bit back in business right now. Sorry, Mila. <laughs> You're so grumpy. I need you to move because we're going to both get into bed. So I have a very tired, grumpy dog here. Ooh, a car. Anyway, there's not much else to say. Um, I will see you in the morning as usual, unless anything crazy happens during the night and you never know with car camping. A crazy moment is just right around the corner. So fingers crossed there isn't. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Those people did actually stay here, so I don't want to speak too loud and wake them up. I got my coffee. I'm happy. Oh my god. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that accent. So, I'm trying to think what the game plan is here. I'm going to go outside, get my trousers on. I think pretty much I'm just going to get cleared up. One step at a time. And then hit the road, Jack. Literally. That is the plan. <laughs> Sick morning. So cool. Look at this. I love how the clouds just like form little clumps. Really low 
to the lake. The lock, to the lock. Sorry, Dad, to the lock. This is not a lake, it's a lock. And I should be embarrassed as a Scotsman for previously referring to some of them as a lake. Anyway, we're all packed up. We actually moved just from our campsite, campsite or sleeping site, just so I can get a nice thumbnail because the other one wasn't giving the vibes I wanted. But, um, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it, right? What else can I say? We unveiled our new camper build, same as last time, kind of different, kind of different. Um, and we came for our first ever successful camp. And the location was, as always, Scotland. Oh, immaculato. And with that being said, I'm going to end this here because I really need to get back to Edinburgh. And surprisingly, I don't have much else to say. I know I like to chat, but oh, this baby needs to get home. And baby's priorities, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. But baby's priorities becomes before all you, right? Because she's just a princess. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really have. Um, it was kind of rushed by me, I'm not going to lie, but I wanted to get out there into the wild, make a little video, get out of my little Edinburgh vibe. And um, yeah, next weekend, or I guess a week from today, I'm going to start the the new sort of extended build onto the camper. So I probably won't be camping next week, but I will have a video um, showing the changes to my car. And then hopefully we'll go on an even bigger camping trip. So. Yeah, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. I have too much energy for 8 a.m. in the morning, but here you go. Have an, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you very, very soon with another video. Goodbye. <laughs> Toi même souvent du mal de toi Certains font la critique facile Des gens de la musique des îles On voudrait t'ignorer parfois Mais on ne peut se passer de toi Passer de toi